Are you thinking about Tennessee? Want to get a U-Haul, call a real estate agent, and move to the volunteer state? If you said yes, you ain't alone. Tennessee has become one of the top 10 relocation hotspots for 2022, and it looks like it's going to stay there in 2023, even though Tennessee is home to one of the most dangerous cities in the U.S. People are still flooding in there. Well, most of the state. All the sane people steer clear of Memphis. Tennessee is a great state with a lot to offer. Today, I'm going to tell you why so many people are moving there and why you probably should too. Now, if you watched a video we did about Tennessee four months ago, some of these we touched on in that video. We're just going to go over them again because they are important. That video didn't get many views, so chances are you didn't see it anyway. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, it's perfect for retirement. Not everyone that moves to Tennessee is young and trying to start a family and get their career going. A good percentage of the people moving there are winding down. Tennessee does have some exciting cities, but their small towns and their suburbs in a lot of cases are kind of laid back and move at a slow pace. Perfect for retirement. On top of that, Tennessee has some great hospitals, really good healthcare system. Taxes are low for retirees. And as we'll learn later on in this video, real estate and the cost of living is pretty reasonable as well. Tennessee almost gets in the top 10 when it comes to weather. They come in at number 11. They have an average state temperature of 59 degrees. Obviously, if you're living up in the mountains, it might be a little bit different. So if you're retired, don't move into the mountains. It's rough on the joints. Number nine, a lot of fun stuff to do. There's a reason Tennessee's second largest industry is tourism. It's a lot of fun. They have a lot of things to do in this state. First and foremost, music. If you like music, you'd love any place in Tennessee. More on that later on in the video. Besides being a great state for all kinds of outdoor activities, different types of amusement parks like Dollywood, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinsburg, NASCAR sponsored go-kart places like Speed Park. My point is Tennessee has a lot to offer, not just music venues, which when it comes to music venues, they probably have too many. So it's great for family entertainment. That's another reason a lot of people move there. Now, like I said in the past video, a lot of these individually aren't a reason for someone to move to another state. This is a perfect example, but it is a nice little add-on if you're considering moving to that state for other reasons. Number eight, the music. Tennessee is known for its music, especially Nashville. B.B. King, Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Dolly Parton, Kenny Chesney was born in Nashville. Justin Timberlake was born in Memphis. Even Tina Turner's from Brownsville, Tennessee. But a lot of people do move to Nashville and other parts of Tennessee for the music. Maybe they want to get their music career going. Maybe they just want to be near a music scene. I know people that moved up to Seattle when the whole grunge thing was going just because they wanted to be part of that scene. Nashville's the same thing. And it's been going on for decades there. Nashville's even called Music City. The Grand Old Opry's in Nashville and Beale Street in Memphis is known for its blues and country music. Number seven, you get all four seasons. People actually move for this. They get tired of places like Arizona, Florida, Southern California, Texas, where they don't get all the seasons. I grew up in Southern California where you get 310 days of pleasant weather every single year. I moved north to Oregon 12 years ago and one of my favorite parts of that move is having a little chaos in my weather patterns. I'm sure if you live in upstate New York, Michigan, Minnesota, North Dakota, Wisconsin, something like that, my next statement will make you angry. But that first snow of the year puts me in a good mood. I know it's strange, but that's one of the things that people say they move to Tennessee, Kentucky, and a lot of other places around that area so they can get a change of the seasons. Number six, the job market is blowing up. Tennessee has a great job market. This is another state that's been stealing California tech companies for some time. With those companies come really good jobs. Nashville is currently the third hottest job market in the country. They also have some of the lowest unemployment in the nation. Large companies like Dollar General, HCA Healthcare, Cracker Barrel, LifePoint Health, FedEx, they're all headquartered in Tennessee. Like Idaho and Nevada, they have a business-friendly tax environment in Tennessee. And with all the things going on in Tennessee, they have no problem attracting really good talent to work in some of these tech companies. 
Number five, the education system. When it comes to the grade school through high school, Tennessee has a decent education system. They're ranked right there in the middle, like 24th to 28th, whatever study you're looking at. When it comes to their colleges and universities, they normally rank around 21 to 22. When you look at their two-year college graduation rate, they're ranked fifth in the nation. Here's some of the schools that you could choose from in Tennessee. Vanderbilt, Belmont University, University of Tennessee, University of the South, Rhodes College, University of Memphis. Now, there's a whole bunch to choose from. There's over 100 colleges and universities in Tennessee. And I'm sure I'm going to get some grief because I didn't mention some strange college out in the middle of nowhere. Number four, easy to buy a home. Yep, real estate prices in Tennessee are, I would say, reasonable. They're ranked 13th in the nation for median home price. Right now, the median home price in the United States is 429,000. In the volunteer state, it's 308,000. That's as of September 2022. Now, the ease of getting a home doesn't end there. Tennessee has a bunch of different programs to help you buy some property. There's all kinds of grants like housing grants for green homes in Tennessee, housing grants for home businesses. There's different programs to help you with your down payment. I'll leave a link below to some of the programs in case that's something you're interested in. Buying your first house is a scary thing to do. Trust me, I've been through it. It doesn't have to be. There's a lot of different organizations and departments in Tennessee that'll help you with the process. And that's what's making a lot of people move to Tennessee, the ease of buying a house. Now, if you've had to go through it before in Tennessee and no other place, you might think this isn't easy. It was hard and I had to do a lot. Well, yeah, you're buying a house. You have to do a lot. But compared to other states, it's pretty easy in Tennessee. Number three, Nashville. Everybody knows about Nashville. Everybody knows it's an amazing city. I mean, from the barbecue to the music to the people to the weird people to the weird people eating barbecue and playing music. Nashville's one of those cities you have to experience, sort of like New York. New York's one of those cities you just have to experience once in your life. I don't think Los Angeles is that type of city. I really, maybe San Francisco is once you get past all its problems. Las Vegas is another city you have to experience once in your life. New Orleans too. It's got a bunch of problems, but New Orleans another one of those cities. Nashville is, I would say, in the top 10 of cities that you need to experience at least once in your life. It is an amazing city. It's a lot of fun. For some freaking reason, every time I've gone there, the people are incredibly nice. Even though it's a tourist kind of situation and you got people that take advantage of tourists, you don't see that like you'd see in Las Vegas or you'd see in New Orleans. At least that's my experience. But a lot of people do move to Tennessee just to move to Nashville. They really don't care what state it's in. They're moving to Nashville. And I'm kind of on board with that feeling too. I'd move there if I was a single guy and a musician. I mentioned that once before. If I was a single guy, I'd move to this city. And someone said in the comment section, you don't have to be single to move there. And my response was, no, you don't have to be single to move there. I do. My wife runs a tight ship. Late night shenanigans are not allowed. Number two, the cost of living. The cost of living is pretty low in Tennessee, especially when you compare it to some of the other states in the area. Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, they all can get pretty expensive. You go up a little further with Maryland, Delaware, and Washington, D.C. area, it can get expensive in that part of the country. Nashville is doing pretty good. Their cost of living is 12% lower than the national average. Is it Mississippi cheap? No, it's still pretty cheap. Groceries, utilities, and transportation all contribute to a cost of living, and each one of those is lower in Tennessee than the national average. Especially groceries. Groceries are like 16% lower than the national average. Now, I'm sure the comment section is going to be ablaze with people from Tennessee talking about how it's not as cheap as it used to be. That's how it is with every state. Things get more expensive as time goes on. That's how it always is. That's how it always will be, especially if you're in a state that's popular, which Tennessee is. But it is still cheaper than the national average. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There is a link down below. All right, on to number one. And number one, low taxes. Tennessee knocks it out of the park when it comes to low taxes. They have no state income tax. They also have a pretty low property tax also known as real estate tax. Owning a home in Tennessee is a good deal. When you consider the property tax in Tennessee and their median home price, it drops them into the top 10 for lowest. 
Now, this is just like a guesstimate and kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at. If you're living in Virginia, North Carolina, or South Carolina, and let's say your mortgage is $2,000 a month, that same house, your mortgage is going to be like $1,600 a month in Tennessee. That's just a guesstimate. Don't start running a calculator on me. That's just for people that don't understand how all that stuff works. Believe it or not, taxes are one of the top 10 things people Google before they move to another city or state. It was about five years ago I read this thing. Google puts out what people are searching for all the time. And people that are relocating, there's things they look up like crime, traffic, house prices, taxes. But what beats out traffic and crime, which I thought was strange, was is it a pet friendly city? I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm more concerned about my commute time and my chances of being robbed at gunpoint than I am with, will my neighbors stare at me when I take my pig uh, McMuffin uh, for a walk? Uh. Yes, I have a pig named McMuffin. Don't be jealous. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.